PSU 8600 is our advanced power supply system. And what makes it advanced is several things. One, we have real-time communication to it so we can get diagnostic information back. We can adjust voltage levels on different outputs. We can turn outputs on and off. So there's lots of functionality we can get through that communication. Thinking about the PSU 8600 as a system, obviously there's the basic power supply. And we do that a couple of different ways as a single output or four outputs that can be adjusted. We can stack on additional modules to get even more individual outputs. We can add a buffer that'll give us a few seconds of ride through on a brownout type of situation. We use Ethernet protocols. Prokinet is one of our standards. Ethernet IP is another one and an OPC UA. In addition to that, we also have access to a web server so you can get in and look at the, at the web with any internet browser. There's lots of places where we've used this in the automotive industry and where we need more than one voltage in the system. A couple of applications where we actually were doing some testing of some equipment that goes on a vehicle and we needed, let's say, two different voltage levels and we wanted to change those on the fly. As a piece was coming up to be tested, we could set the voltage correctly and do all that through an automation system. In robotics, we can actually do the same thing with the voltage. We can adjust the voltage levels and bring that into the robotic arm to actually control position, speed, things like that through the DC voltage. Some other applications that we get into really are not so much about the application at the end, but the people who are building the panels. So this kind of system can reduce the number of connections that they have to make when they're building the panel, cut down on wiring, cut down on space. Another thing to look at is a, is a cost savings. Because we can have a single power supply that can give us multiple voltages, multiple types of current limiting on the outputs, since we can monitor the voltage and the current out of an individual circuit, we can read that real time back to a PLC system, an automation system, and then we can give warnings or alarms to the operators that, that uh, current's picking up or voltage is dipping, that, that sort of thing. So at, in real time, you get a real accurate representation of what's going on in the process.